26.5 Hamilton Cupfield is assembled. They're all in 2200. Race seven here. Starters up with the light on. Pickaroon and Rebadge, the two most fancied runners. Farag might have had a bit of a tongue tie issue in the gates. I think might be getting reapplied in there. Now they're right, they're underway. Farag might have been a touch slow out in the end. Uh, Golly Otis was one of the first to go with Picaroon, Commander Harry, Lotta Rock, and nearer the inside, Brungle Raider. Then Truly Inspired, Rebadge, off his rocker and last Raider. And towards the rear are the stable mates, Willie Wink and Farag, as they make this first turn out of the straight. Picaroon pushing through near the insides, doing enough to keep the lead for the moment. Golly Otis going up out wide around Commander Harry and Brungle Raider. A length back in fifth place to Lotta Rock and then Truly Inspired last Raider. Rebadge was next in front of Offie's Rocker, who's a touch wide. Second last is Farag, and the last one is Willie Wink as they gallop into the back. So towards the 1400. And Golly Otis kept off the fence by Picaroon. They're joint leaders here. Just over a length, Commander Harry third. Fourth, the inside, Brungle Raider. Fifth is Lotta Rock as the tempo just slows a little bit. Last Raider getting through on the inside of Truly Inspired. Rebadge and Farag are the next pair. Off his rock is second last. And the last one is Willie Wink as they progress along the back. And once more, Picaroon's established the lead role here. And the pace drops so much that Truly Inspired has taken off along the back and gone right around the outside outside quickly to take up the lead. So Truly Inspired dashed out about two and a half in front of Picaroon, Brungle Raider and Golly Otis. A length and a half away then to Commander Harry, last Raider. Further back to Lotta Rock and then Farag, Rebadge off his rocker. And last is Willie Wink as they continue down the hill. And Truly Inspired isn't slowing up for them here. 600 left to go. Continues out about three lengths in front from Brungle Raider and Picaroon who's been passed into that second spot. So favourite it's under a bit of duress here. And then came Golly Otis further back in the field to off his rocker. Commander Harry Lotta Rocks, one of the wider runners. Rebadge with plenty to do. And then followed by Farag into the straight. Brungle Raider dashed to the lead. Truly inspired, knocked up fast. And then last Raider, Farag was next. Rebadge and off his rocker down the outside. Brungle Raider led though with 100 to go. More than two lengths in front of last Raider. Farag, Rebadge and then off his rocker. But it's Brungle Raider to win the Hamilton Cup. Brungle Raider by just over two lengths to last Raider second. Third Farag and fourth Rebadge from off his rocker Commander Harry and then Lotta Rock followed in by Picaroon who was struggling a fair way out. Willie Wink behind them. Golly Otis was next and the last one was truly inspired. Yeah, the Raiders to the fore there. Uh, Brungle Raider beats Last Raider and Farag back in third. If you manage to, to find that trifecta, you're going to be pretty well rewarded. And that was also the case in the, this year's edition of the, the Guineas, the Caulfield Guineas. What